ice cream maker. Well, that's got me thinking. I've got some leftover Luan that I uh, used for some underlayment on the floor. Now, in order for this to fit over the top of the kettle, extend a little bit beyond, this really needs to be a little bit bigger than the lid. So I've drawn a circle so it is. I think I'll cut that out and see what I can do.
tracks and the video store were right. Three times a day you'd come in for a drink I'd bring you a coffee you pay with a wink and a smile This is just some rubbing alcohol to try to clean this up a little. Some grease in there, and I want to get that out of there. Okay, in order for this to work, I have to glue both of these parts together. So this will actually have to be epoxied into this. And this will have to be epoxied to that part. Alright. And since I really don't want that completely flushed down with that, a couple spacers. I don't want it rubbing the bottom of this. Actually, a little bit more. Okay, I got a couple wooden dowels under there to hold that up. Got some uh, two part epoxy here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix some of this up real quick. It doesn't take much of this stuff. I use this my, quite a bit in my tanks that are gonna work. Okay. okay. Make sure it's mixed good. Smear some of this around on these gears. This is, I think it's five minute, five minute epoxy. left on there will run back down in it. Okay, so I've got that on there, so let's just let that sit until it sets up. You look like hell I don't fully decide. I haven't seen you since you had that awful fight. It's been so long since I heard you. When we get done with that, then I'll put this in here. Because this with this thing, this spins, it doesn't spin this, this is actually the part that moves. So in order for get to get this paddle to move, I had to glue this to the actual shaft that's driving this, and then I'm going to have to glue this to the this portion of that. So that way the whole entire thing spins, and that's why I've got this elevated so it's not bumping the uh, board here. So I'll we'll let that sit up for 5-10 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, just to make sure I don't get any glue down in this hole or it'll stop this thing from spinning. I'm 
going to shove that down inside of there. If it gets up in the top of that thing, then it's it it gets glued up there, then it's not going to spin at all. Because it'll lock this shaft up, and that's not what I want. So, okay. Got that pushed in there. Let's see how far down this will go now. I may have to cut this off just a teeny bit. No, I think we'll be alright. It goes down in there. Well, probably a quarter half inch. Let's mix up the two part epoxy again. I'm going to keep this just kind of up here at the top of this thing, but I don't know how good it's going to work. I may have to let this sit up just a bit. I'm just going to put a light coating right around here in the top of this. I said, I don't want this to drip down inside of that. So, it's not very much. So, like I said, this is five minute, so it doesn't take too long for it to set up. I can't tell if it's going to stay put if you hold it like this and see whether it runs or not. I think it's probably good. I think if we leave it just like that, we'll be fine. So let's let that set up and then we'll test it. See how it works. And the whole reason, the whole reason I'm doing this is to try to improve my efficiency. And I also thought that this might work for stirring the wort as it's chilling. I'll just have to see how this does as far as uh, being able to control heat or take heat. I would think it would work, so. Anyway, let's let that set up and we'll be back. Okay, stupid me, in order to get this to work, I had to cut the square end of that paddle off. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. So, let's plug it in and see if it'll work. Okay, so here's a moment of truth. Let's see if this is going to work. So like I said, I had to cut, take this out and I cut the square part off that would have fit in there. So let's see. Maybe I can fix that real quick. Oh, since I can't find any epoxy, I'll use some of this plumbing repair stuff. So it's for pipes anyway. So. so I've got some of that two-part epoxy stuff in the tube. We'll use that. That worked just as good. Automatic master. How sweet. Okay, weekend project. Later. Let me do my job. I'm trying to explain that once the pressure builds, a storm will fizzle out. I'm sorry if your feeble brain can't follow what I say, but I have dumbed this down as far as I will go. So please.